the future growth of the world is in the emerging economies. And nothing, as China has shown in its own 40 years of reform and opening up, investment in infrastructure is key uh, to development and to rapid development. Most developing countries have been suffering from lack of infrastructure, and China came up with the idea of pulling financial resources together and helping those developing countries to build the infrastructure. Okay. It was a, a, a brilliant strategy in creating links for the Chinese economy. Initially it was the Belt and Road, and then it was all the way to, to Europe, and then it was all the way to South America. It's really a global phenomenon. You know, trade can never be forced. Connectivity can never be forced. It works and it's viable when there's a need from both sides. You can't just create one side and need the other. It won't work. Overall, I think it's a good thing, but it needs to be done carefully uh, in a way that's in the world's interest. It's good for China. It's shocking to some people, but people will get used to its success. If two countries can agree to build infrastructure and build uh, better trade and commercial and diplomatic relations, you cannot lose that battle. You will always win if you know what you're doing. And that's what's happening between China and Pakistan. You can't say every Belt and Road project has to be a brilliant financial success, like what we're doing in the Bay Area. So if there can be a high-speed rail that runs from uh, Shanghai to Rotterdam, and move goods in, you know, a day or a day and a half, that would be fantastic. The whole uh, strategy of Belt and Road is important to create connectivity across Eurasia to Africa and so on. And I would say it has about 10 strands, but one strand has to do with the image of China helping integrate the world and helping develop the, uh, the, the nodes along the network that runs from China to Europe and maybe beyond. And if it's done well, it can be strategically important for those countries who receive those projects. It's like a youngster going off to school. He's never been to school. What are these people like? It will become a teenager. It will become a young adult. It must, people in China must not judge its success today. It's their grandchildren that will discuss, understand its success and 